Congratulations on your first day starting. I just wanted to go through a few tips to help you make sure that you're ready before we kind of have our phone call, okay? Have you read this? This is a quick start guide. It was in your package that talks about the lean and greens and the measurements and kind of the routine. Um, ask me if you have any questions about lean and greens. You can go to Sandy's Kitchen for awesome recipes and I'll be sending you some too. But the measurement, measuring it out is really important. So don't take that for granted. And the meat, that, the weight of the meat is after it's cooked. And having a meat scale actually does help. Okay, so as far as water, make sure you're drinking half of your body weight in ounces of water. So I love sippy cup, or <laughs> sippy straw ones, because it helps me drink more. And if you weigh 200 pounds, you'd be wanting to drink at least 100 ounces of water, and that's about three of these. So calculate that. So the day before you start, the night before, pick four meal, five meal replacements that you want and to try out the next day. And so in the, next, in the morning, you wanna eat your first meal within 30 minutes of waking up, and then on your cell phone, time every two and a half hours after that to remind you to eat, to get on that routine. And also in the morning, take your true weight and take good pictures. You can take them tonight too, but take pictures that are high quality, not blurry or uh, too dark or whatever. Um, and take also measurements, because sometimes you don't lose weight, you lose inches, it's cool. Okay, and if you did get the digestive enzymes, not everyone does take them in the morning. Doesn't matter if it's with or without food. Okie dokie. The to-do list. Text me a picture of your lean and greens the first, every day for the first week. I wanna make sure you're having the right portions and that they look good, because these should be tasty and filling. Um, write your why somewhere where you see every day on your bathroom mirror. Uh, why are you wanting to get healthy? What are you going for? Put up pictures of things that you want to do. Um, use positive affirmation statements. I am a fat burning machine. I take good care of my body. I respect my body. Um, just stuff like that. I radiate health. Things that you want to have, okay? Um, I'll be getting in touch with you the first four, at least four days. If you don't hear from me, text or phone call, make sure you contact me, okay? Um, just take accountability for that. The first week, it's going to be hard. You're getting ready for glycogen storages. Things are just changing. So you might have a headache, you might be dizzy or weak. Um, let me know if anything's extreme, but definitely keep in touch with me about all those symptoms. Know it's normal. When we hit fat burn on day five to day seven, you'll start feeling a ton better. So push it and make it to fat burn, okay? Um, oh, and just rewind too, make sure the first week you start, you don't want to have any major events like weddings or anniversaries or anything like that because it will be hard to reach fat burn, but we want to get you there. Okay, um, you can take ibuprofen for headaches or use Powerade Zero for if you don't have very much energy. And again, if, if things just aren't working out for you, let's change the plan to make it better for you, okay? So let's just remember it's very flexible. And as far as my hours go, I prioritize my husband. So if you ever can't get a hold of me and you're really frustrated, it's probably because I'm spending time with my husband. So that's why I'm going to be adding you to client uh, Facebook groups and I'm getting you in touch with my own coach as well. So that if you ever can't reach me, um, ask the Facebook group or ask um, Jared and Amber Smithson, okay? And so as far as my hour goes, I'll usually respond best through text uh, between 10 a.m. and 5 to 6 p.m. And then on, so far, uh, Tuesdays, and Thursdays are for when I'll have my phone more around me. And Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and obviously Saturdays, days all. Evenings and Saturday day, I'll be more with my husband, okay? <laughs> so as far as transition goes, when you, whenever you are ready to transition, whether it's before or after you are expecting, let me know. There are special ways to transition so you don't gain your weight back. And we want to make sure you maintain that weight loss for the rest of your life. So get in touch with me. As far as the taste goes, you are going to love some of the things and you are going to hate some of the things. Some of them will probably make you gag, but that's normal. We can't make everything perfect for people. So just find the things that you like. You are used to high sugar, high salt, high fat. So of course there's gonna be an adjustment. Be patient with it. And if there's something you absolutely hate, ask me how to exchange them and you can do that for free. It's awesome. Okay, as far as events, if you are living by me, we will have events probably once a month that I would love for you to come to. That's where the big rewiring of the brain changes and the encouragement and motivation. Make sure you're reading the book too. Uh, you can always listen to the audio if you are not a book reader. Um, yeah, I think, okay, and just as a warning, after you start this, you're gonna have this strange desire to share it with everyone 
because it's so exciting. It's finally working. You're wanting to pay it forward. Some people become coaches um, and kind of co-coach with me. So they earn money as they're losing weight and helping their friends. And some people just do referrals. So if someone says, hey, what are you doing? Just say, hey, I actually have a really cool health coach that's been helping me. I'd love to text her your number. Would you feel okay with that? And I'll go, sure. So then you text me uh, their number and I'll get, I'll text them back and kind of schedule a time. And that's the easiest way to do it. So uh, let's see. The most important thing that I can possibly tell you now is please do not treat this like a diet. The minute you treat it like a diet, you are looking for an end date. Um, you're going to celebrate losing 30 pounds by eating a dozen of donuts. That's just not, it's just the diet mentality is so poisonous. So treat this. Take accountability for it basically when someone asks you hey have this brownie or come have this milkshake with us just say hey it's okay i'm experimenting with healthy living right now and it's feeling really good and i'm on a roll so i want to keep it up instead of sorry i'm on a diet and i'm starving myself and i can't have anything i want because that, that's just negative and that's not going to get you anywhere we'll make look for the healthy habits that you are learning read that book rewire your mind keep in touch with me about things you're struggling with because i want you to become free that's the whole point of this to find that abundant life for you um i think we're good um call me now S send me a text that you've uh that you've seen this and let's get going i'm excited for you congratulations see you later mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.